So if you've watched the M50 series for any amount of time, then you know we've had the constant issue of the 30 minute recording limit that the Canon M50 has while live streaming with the Elgato cam link. It times out, the screen goes black, you gotta touch the shutter screen and just all, touch the shutter button and all that extra other stuff. On this particular video, I'm gonna be going through a quick tip and quick hack that actually gets rid of that completely and you can stream for over one hour. We're gonna be talking about it coming up next. Right, so here we are in the Entree Woman TV studios. A couple different things that you need. Of course, you're going to need the Elgato cam link. So this little device right here, and this will be able to get you to connect to the mini HDMI or the micro HDMI, excuse me, and through the USB and all that. All of everything of what I talk about, which you'll need to do this, be linked down below. You need the micro HDMI as well as the USB connector, maybe extender cable or something like that, just to be able to reach far distance and if you need to you know really set the camera further away like if you're using a 50 millimeter lens no speed booster then you'll want to get something that is good for high speed data transference and you want to stretch that uh, across the the way but make sure it's not causing any interference like I said all my recommendations are linked down in the description next thing you want to do is get Canon's utility app the one that you want is the one that has this three symbol on the icon and so I don't know what the other ones are or if it's based by camera but the one you need for the M50 is the EOS Utility 3. Next thing you'll need is a great USB to USB micro cable. This is basically any Android phone from even just a couple years ago uh, before it was USB-C it's the other USB is kind of partially curved at the top flat on the bottom the reason why is that not all USB cables are used for data transference and so if you have one for a phone that came with the phone chances are that one is the exact one that you're going to need again depending on the length of where you need to set your camera to where you record you may want to get an extender cable something that is still not going to interfere with the data but the more links in the chain that you have the more possible possibilities you have a failure if you decide to get an extender extension cable that is not really that great with data transference or it could cause delays, stuff like that. So just a quick tip there uh, when you're hooking that in. Very simple, but there is a process of how you wanna connect your camera to get this to work because I tried it a different way in reverse and it doesn't work. So the first things first, you wanna plug up the Canon M50 via USB, get your settings dialed in, and you just connect it to your computer and go. Next thing is to connect the micro HDMI to the Canon M50 and then to the computer. After you get your settings dialed in because you still are not able to get the icons to work it doesn't mitigate the issue with seeing the icons on the screen unfortunately which is something i was hoping for but it does not mitigate that so you still need to turn off the autofocus and the box for the autofocus uh, and all of that stuff is in the previous video that i did before and i'll link that up above um, but you need to turn that stuff off the crosshairs to make sure in the rule of thirds for video like turn that off turn all that stuff off you need to see a very blank screen once you got that plugged in the hdmi the usb first and then the hdmi you're good to go the one thing that you need to do is really just have the settings box up and not the live view screen. It doesn't hurt anything, but you don't need it. As soon as you plug in that HDMI micro into your M50, the screen is gonna go off, so you won't be able to adjust anything from the camera screen. Plug that in via USB. From there, you go into whatever platform that you're going to be streaming from. Select the cam link as an option. That's really all there is. So let's get into a couple questions and concerns that I've gotten about the cam link. And I'm sure you may have as well when it comes to doing this particular process to get a look like this. Now that we're able to stream over one hour, which is really, really cool, does it overheat? And the simple test that I did, which is simply let the camera run, let it do like I normally would for a live stream, will it overheat? I didn't have any issues with it and I've streamed before with this for over an hour using my Panasonic JD5 and I never had any issues with it. So as long as you don't have an effective uh, Elgato cam link, which I don't think is all that often, but it can happen. Uh, as long as you don't have an effective one, you should be fine. So can you still see the screen, the flip out screen on the Canon M50? No, you cannot. I thought hopefully that maybe the USB side would override the um, actual, you know, flip out screen, but at the same time, you can open up that live view option 
from within the settings for the utility app for Canon. You can open that up there if you absolutely need to see something or something like that, or even adjust something because those buttons still do work um, if you need to change something on the camera, which is very, very helpful when you don't have that screen option available via HDMI. Is autofocus available yet? No. Another sucky part, something I was hoping would still be available. Unfortunately, there's no way to get around that uh, that I know of at this time. So if another hack comes out, then I will let you know. But as right now, there's no way to get around it. Last question is, do you need the Elgato Game Capture HD, um, or if you have the 4K version now, do you need that program that Elgato has for this to work? I never update that. I never update the cam link or nothing like that. It should be just plug and play straight up. Um, hopefully this is a, another helpful way that you can continue to use the Canon N50 far beyond the reach of what they originally designed it for and continue to get some more use out of this bad book. So as always guys, live with passion and I will see you on the next video.